Hi, in this problem we're going to try to find the equation of the parabola. And we're given some information. We're told the focus is negative one comma two, and the directrix is x equals negative five. Let's go ahead and try to solve this solution. So I like to do these problems by drawing a little picture. So this is the y-axis and this will be the x-axis, so x and y. And let's go ahead and plot what we have. So the focus is negative one comma two. So from the origin, we'll go left one and up two and put a dot. And the directrix is x equals negative five. That's a vertical line, so one, two, three, four, five. So this will be the directrix. And this is the focus. So we need to find the vertex. The vertex is going to be the midpoint here. So it's going to be a point that's equidistant from this line here, where my cursor is, and this point here. So it should be right here. I'm going to use a different color for it. So right here, this will be the vertex. And you can see the distance here is 1, 2. 1, 2. And a parabola always opens towards the focus, so it's going to look like this. And I don't know um, where it crosses um, the x-axis or the y-axis, so this might not be 100% correct, but we'll just assume it is. Okay, so now we can write down the formula. Because it opens right, we know that the y is being squared, so parabolas that open up and down have the x being squared, parabolas that open left or left or right have the y being squared. So if it opens up or down, the x is squared. If it opens left or right, the y is squared. So the formula is y minus k squared equals 4c x minus h. If it had opened up or perhaps down, the formula would have been x minus h squared equals 4c y minus k. So the, the thing is that the x always goes with the h and the y always goes with the k. It's just a, a trick to remember it. Okay, so now all we have to do is plug stuff in. So the vertex here, let's just write it down as an ordered pair. It looks like it's one, two, three, one, two. It's negative three comma two. So this is the H and this is the K, right? So one, two, three, one, two. So it'll be Y minus two quantity squared, just like that, equals four C X plus three. It's a plus three because there's already a minus there from the negative three. And so negative and negative is positive. Alrighty, so now we just have to find C. So the absolute value of C is this distance here, which we see that it is two. Now, because it opens right, C is positive, so C is equal to two. If it had, if it had, if it had opened left, C would be negative two. So this becomes Y minus two squared equals four times two, X plus three. Just replacing um, the C there with two. And so the final answer would be y minus 2 squared equals 4 times 2 is 8. So this is 8 parentheses x plus 3. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.